climate crisis is such a big, unique beast that it takes finding clever ways to infiltrate people's hearts and minds so they see themselves as agents of change. So in 2010, I had just left working on creating education program and I wanted to create a nonprofit that would use education as a tool for engagement so that I could wake sleeping giants. We need our community in this fight. We can't wait for politicians and elected officials to do something. We need uh, the people, the community to be engaged. And Clio was born because of that. The Clio Institute was like, we'll take this on. From the community-wide events where we gathered together hundreds of residents to really walk for the protection of our common home, our planet, to creating innovative campaigns that awaken people by conveying and communicating really complex issues in a very creative way. The Clio Institute's main focus is giving people the tools to connect the dots and understand why the climate crisis is an important issue in our lifetime. And it also gives them the tools to advocate at a local level so that everyone can get involved. Probably the thing I am most proud of is the strategies we have used to address the climate justice issues. It's not only about sea level rise. It's about heat and health and food and water insecurity. It's about displacement, repetitive flooding. One program is called Empowering Resilient Women. And with this program, we engage with women who are leaders within their communities. I've been in those communities. I am a part of the communities that we go to. We have taught people how to take the table to the community. That's how I learned about the Cleo Institute. I went to one of her meetings that they had and I realized that she was on to something. We also teach them the skills necessary to go into their communities and get other people engaged or to go to their elected officials and raise their voice and be heard. We also have our Climate Resilient Schools program, which is aimed at middle and high school students as well as teachers. And the goal there is to bring climate literacy inside of our schools. One of the things that inspire me the most is, is working with our Gen Clio youth movement. I love what I do at Clio because I am an educator at heart and I still get to be involved in education. I still get to give students the tools and the resources they need to become youth leaders in their community. Seeing the youth going and talk to politicians or people who are the decision makers, because they're trying to impact their decisions in a positive way. What I do now at Clio allows me to be that sort of guiding person to other people in my position who would otherwise not know how to get involved. We're going to spark you, build your capacity, and have you take off and give you all the resources you need. Watching those 16-year-olds talk to our city commissioners about what they wanted to see on the budget was really the example of how Clio is having an impact in this community. We cannot have an apathetic audience with this climate crisis. We need everybody engaged, and so Clio is bold that way. If we don't act now, we are going to lose everything that is precious to us. I feel that we are in an inflection point here in Florida, and we need that extra push, that fuel that could take us to the top. The success stories have been very rewarding and makes me feel like if we could do a little bit more of this in very intentional ways, we could fix this.